Hi yogis, welcome back to my yoga YouTube channel. Today we will do core crunch. So I think it's really important to have strong core muscles, not only in order to do some more advanced yoga poses, but also, for example, plank, chaturanga, which we repeat very often, do require a strong core. So I apologize in advance, but today my target is to make you sweat a little and um, would be good if you actually feel your muscles tomorrow. <laughs> So, yeah, we can do this. Just roll out your mat and I'll see you there. So today we'll start in standing. Uh, so come to the front of your mat. Uh, you can keep your feet hip distance apart for better stability at the beginning. Um, face your palms forward and just close your eyes. Let's take a few moments here to arrive to the present moment, to the present place, space. Start to focus on your breath. Really deep inhale, really deep exhale. Maybe you can notice the feeling of your on your skin if you are on the sun or some sounds which are around you. Continue to breathe. One more deep inhale. Deep exhale. And with another in deep inhale, open your eyes. Exhale. Bring your feet together, a little space between your heels. So we will start with our sun salutation flow. With the inhale, raise your hands above your head. Exhale, forward falls. You can bend the knees a little, it's our first one. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale through your knees, downward facing dog. Very good. Don't forget feet hip distance apart, hands shoulder distance apart. We want to keep some space between the shoulders and the ears. You can do, uh, in order to check, you can bend the elbows a little and then hug them towards the midline and then straighten the arms. This could, should really push the shoulders down, shoulder blades, and keep the space. Ribs and navel in, sit bones high. And then with inhale, round your back, come forward. And exhale, spinal wave, kind of. Once again, inhale forward. And exhale back. Once again, inhale forward and this time hold plank. So we'll start a little warming up. <laughs> and exhale, back to down dog. Very good. Inhale, look forward, big step or jump. Halfway, exhale down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale. Let's do the same. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, you can this time jump or still take the step up to you. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. 
very good once again round back forward and hold plank so the hands are still under the shoulders make sure your core is strong and exhale back very good once again round back forward I hope you are starting to feel warm just like me and exhale back beautiful inhale look forward step or jump exhale inhale all the way up and exhale once again inhale exhale forward fold inhale halfway exhale step or jump inhale cobra or up dog exhale down dog beautiful this time let's try to take off the right hand you can bring it next to your right hip three-legged down dog <laughs> and now let's do the same with inhale flow forward but into three-legged plank and exhale back once again and exhale very good i apologize if this hurts <laughs> if you want to you can always bend the knees a little and just try to do your best let's do the same on the left side inhale and with exhale forward inhale back exhale once again the same exhale and both arms to the ground great job <laughs> we can pedal the legs a little very good inhale look forward step or jump exhale inhale exhale inhale once again exhale forward fold inhale halfway exhale step or jump chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog very good round your back come forward <laughs> once again our plank and this time let's do a few mountain climbers it's more pulse hiring exercise or how to call it so on the knee to chest and exchange and come more faster <laughs> just a little bit more beautiful and exhale down dog you should really start to feel, feel warm <laughs> take a few breaths in down dog good with the next inhale take your right leg up in the air exhale big step forward let's take warrior one on the right side inhale so don't forget that we are trying to keep our core strong here the hips square very good with the exhale bring your hands to the ground and this time we want to take off the foot but keep the knee where it is pulling the knee towards your chest and the heel towards your butt engaging the hamstrings so something like this knee to nose and just hold here 
and exhale. Three-legged dog. Very good. Once again, the same. And just hold me to notes. And release. And this time let's do square. So with the knee, come towards your left tricep, left wrist, right wrist, right triceps, and then again release. It's like a really square with the knee going along the, hand, the hands. So let's try it. Bring me to left tricep, down, right hand, up, and release. Very good, once again the same. Down, down, up, and release. Great job. And then bring again to the left tricep and open the right leg to the side. So we are going to take a side plank, opening completely towards the left side. Maybe you can also look up into the sky if that's possible. And then again, come back to middle, both hands to the ground, three-legged dog and exhale. Very good. And let's do the same on the left side. So with inhale, left leg up, exhale, step forward, warrior one. So once again, make sure your hips are square, the core is strong, the back foot should be kind of 45 degrees open. Of course, if you have troubles because of short uh, muscles in the calf, etc., basically you will be always taking the same benefit also from high lunge. You can do that modification for you. So that's basically the difference between warrior one and high lunge. The back foot is on the ground. While in high lunge, the heel is off the ground. So now we have warrior one. Take a few breaths. This is the rest for our arms and our core. So the planks are actually strengthening the arms as well a lot. And then exhale, and let's repeat the same on the left side. So once again, you want to keep the knee almost exactly where it is, and just take off the foot and pulling the heel towards your butt. And let's go. Hold here a few breaths. Very good, and release, feel like a dog. Repeat once again the same, inhale. And release. And let's try the square. So once again, this time we'll start into the right side. So the left knee will come to the right tricep, right wrist, left wrist, left tricep, and release. Let's try it. Inhale, come forward. Down, down, up, and release. Once again, the same. Tricep, wrist, wrist, tricep, and release. Very good. This time, side plank. So just come to the tricep and open to the side. Try to pull the hips up. And if possible, you can even look up. And then look down again, and let's bring both hands to the ground. Rotating to the middle, three-legged dog. And then both legs to the ground again. And let's take vinyasa forward. You can use the knees, 
Ham to Chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Very good. Inhale, look to the front. Big step or jump. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. Great job. Now let's do even a little bit more for the core. Now we will really give some rest to the arms. With the next inhale, bend your knees, come to chair pose. Make sure you have the weight leaning back into the heels and you are pulling the ribs and navel in. And then with exhale, lower down into sitting. And let's do both pose, Navasana. So the target pose has basically straightened the legs and without the uh, support from the arms. But you can also bend the legs a little or if you need to also take support in the back with the arms. We'll do five breaths. So choose the variation which you want. And let's start. Try to really keep the uh, spine straight, the lower back straight. So we don't want something like this, but really as straight as possible. Good, and release. And let's repeat once again the same, coming to Navasana. And from here, lower down into half Navasana, Ardha. And rise up again. Lower down and rise up. Lower down and rise up. Lower down and rise up. Very good. And then once again, lower down completely. You can bring the knees to the chest. And from here, straighten the legs. If needed, you can always keep the knees bent a little. Bring the hands behind your head. And we'll do a little bit more for the core. So always keeping one leg straight up towards the sky, one leg down and coming to the side. So pulling the elbow to the knee. One and exchange. And let's repeat. And always think about the engagement in the core. So pulling the navel in, pulling the ribs in. This is good for our obliques. So not only the rectus abdominis, but also the side muscles. And let's do a few more. Keep breathing. Try to come also with the torso higher, so not just with the hands, but really higher. Pulling closer towards the leg. And release. Very good. And then let's rock on the spine, up and down a little. And come all the way back up into chair pose. You can support yourself with the hands a little if needed. Back to our chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or down. Plank and chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Very good. Let's take a few breaths here.
and then round your back, down forward. And let's do once again the mountain climbers. So pulling the knees towards your chest and we'll repeat more fast. So come. Just a little bit more and release. Down dog. Very good. Inhale, look forward, step or jump. Ardha, halfway. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale. You're doing great, almost there. Once again, let's take inhale. Exhale, down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Very good. Round back, come forward. And this time, come on your elbows. Try to bring, so keep the elbows underneath the shoulders, shoulder width apart. And also the hands, not coming together, but kind of the same distance apart. Also try to not have the hips really high up, but this is actually making it easier for you, which is not our target today. So nicely flat. And just hold here, <laughs> just a little bit more. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and exhale, lower down. Take a few breaths for the rest. And let's go up into the same position once again. So bring again the elbows underneath your shoulders, tuck the toes, and let's rise up. Again, make sure that your core is strong. Check on your alignment, that your whole body is in one line. And then let's twist on the pinky side of the right foot stacking the feet one on top of the uh, on top of each other and then exchange to the left side and let's repeat a few times right side left side once again we are working on our obliques <laughs> you can do this let's do two more to the right side to the left side, back to middle. Three, two, one, and release. Very good. <laughs> well done. We are almost there, almost made it. And let's just twist again on our back side. So keep the head going in the same direction. And let's just repeat a few more of our core crunches. The same knee to uh, elbow to the knee, one side and the other. Almost there, just three more. And release. 
good i promise this is it <laughs> for our core related crunches so you can again turn back let's stretch our belly muscles a little bit so just come in the, uh, the sphinx pose with your um, elbows again underneath the shoulders Try to not just hang here, but engaging the muscles, pulling the shoulders down, shoulder blades. And you can choose to stay here if you already here feel that your abdominal muscles are stretching. Or you can also take it further to bow pose, taking hold of your ankles one side and the other, and by pressing into the ankles, rising up. Don't press too hard, because we didn't do much back bending. It's more for the purpose of stretching the abdominals than going into a really deep back bend. Just, just as much um, high as comfortable for you. Try to keep the knees parallel to each other, so not splaying out. And release. Very good. And just the last thing before we go for our Shavasana, once again, come on your uh, back. And we'll do twists. So right knee to your chest, left leg is straight and take twist. As we said also in the previous class, when we talk about twists, always try to make the twist from above the belly button as much as possible in order to kind of do it in a healthy way. And then come back to middle and exchange the left knee towards the chest and going into the right side, keeping the left shoulder on the mat. And again, come back to middle. You can just hug your knees a little, maybe a little bit of rocking from side to side. And then release, let go, Shavasana. So I really hope that you did sweat today a little it was still just a short practice. Of course, you're welcome to repeat this practice at home several times a week if you want to, or do more core work. It's always beneficial. But even short practice can really make a change for the body if done regularly. Release all the muscles. Release muscles around your back, in your neck, in your face. Thank you for joining me today. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you like. Namaste.